As we told you earlier in this newscast, violence has claimed the life of another child in our community. And tonight we ask, why has the juvenile homicide rate doubled since last year? CBS 42 News anchor Art Franklin wraps up his special report, Dying Young in Birmingham. Art. Parents who lost children to violence do not want you to see their kids as statistics. They want you to know who they are and how their lives were cut short. They shared with me because they say they don't want you to experience the pain they will forever have. They say one common thread in their search for answers was realizing that it could happen to anyone. It was her child, Ronarius Austin, on August 5th at age two, in a barrage of 67 gunshots targeting this car, the little boy they called Duke becoming the youngest person shot to death in Birmingham this year. Because I got on Facebook this morning and the picture popped up from him from Halloween last year. It hurts me to know that another parent have lost their child. Another family have got to go through all this, all this misery and pain, you know what I'm saying? What she's saying, she knows all too well. Betty Wiggins and her husband, Dwight, lost their son, 19-year-old Omarfia Houston Wiggins, in June of 1993. Wiggins couldn't believe her only son was gone. No, I didn't want to believe it. I couldn't, I, you know, I just thought maybe they had, uh, it was the wrong person or something, you know. But it was him, you know. I, I just, to this day, I see that face of how he looked. It's hard. It's very hard. Omarfia was home from Auburn University where he was studying as a pre-med student. He and a friend were picking up food from a restaurant when it happened. The reason why he was shot was because he wouldn't move his car fast, enough. fast enough. And that shot, uh, and, 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 and the young man, they shot uh, Omar first with a nine millimeter, shot him nine times. Oh my God. And then on top of that, the other young man tried to get out of the car to run, and then they shot him. Wiggins is speaking out now because of the rise of senseless murders of kids throughout our city and the upcoming parole hearing for Omar Fiol's killer. I'm going to be honest. In the beginning, I wanted him dead. I wanted them to, like, electrocute him. I was so mad and hurt that that's the way I was thinking. That was in the beginning. Now, uh, as long as he's in prison, I just let him die in there. Keeping her son's killer in prison is a mission Wiggins started shortly after I met her and her husband in 1994. These are pictures they kept of our trip to Washington, D.C. with other parents who lost their kids to violence. Together, we all traveled to the nation's capital where the parents placed shoes of their dead children on the reflecting pool to bring awareness to gun violence. The parents from Birmingham met with then Alabama Congressman Earl Hilliard. Wiggins wanted Hilliard to do something to help stop the violence. At that time, uh, truth and sentencing to me, it wasn't fair. She says after receiving just a series of letters, she wrote back with her own message. You know, with you representing Alabama, you mean that there is nothing that you can do to try to avoid the gun violence? I made about a month later. Then I got another letter, and then he said that he was uh, sorry, but it's still nothing that he could do. Like Wiggins, the family of Ronarius Austin is looking to leaders to stop the tragic loss of kids dying young. Young boys get a hold to guns. I, I mean, I just think it's ridiculous because they use them for the wrong reason. And it's like they don't care who it is. They don't care. Juvenile Court Chief Justice Raymond Chambliss says it's a matter of guns being in the wrong hands. If you're an adult, you're over the age of, of, of 19, 20, 21, what have you, and you take a gun course and you learn how to shoot that gun, that's perfectly fine. But what we have now is a, bu a bunch of young people running around out there getting guns, and it's very easy to get a gun. We could walk right up the street to Smithfield and purchase a gun for $30, $40, $50 right now. It's those type of guns that is causing our youth to kill each other.
That's one of the things we learned from parents about why kids are dying young in Birmingham. Here's a list. They say there's a breakdown of the family. It's easy to get your hands on guns. Also, a culture of drugs in the streets and no conflict resolution skills out there as well, as well as a lack of religion, no foundation of faith. It is a community problem that will require a community solution. Families, communities, and law enforcement working together. Art Franklin. CBS 42 News.